Hey everyone, today we're going to be putting a radio in a vehicle that doesn't deserve a radio. Let's go do it. Alright, so here's the radio that we're going to be taking out and putting in my truck. I've never heard of this brand, Clarion. I have no clue if it's good or not, but it's got a USB on it. And that's honestly like the only thing I care about. It's probably not Bluetooth either like my uh, car's radio, but this is probably going to be like one of the laziest uh, radio installs on the planet. So yeah, I think I'm going to use this glove box in my car because mine, holy crap I'm white. Uh, mine, the lock was broken when we got it. And this one works, although it doesn't have the hanger thing so it just kind of flops around. But shuts nice, opens nice for the most part and it's not all scratched up, it's not all damaged. I'm definitely going to use it in my car. There's like a bunch of crap on this thing that we can use. Um, this is in great condition. None of the fan, the wings, none of the freaking the things on the vents are broken off. What's pretty insane about this car is that like every G body on the planet, this corner is always blown out. On my car, on my dad's car, every freaking G body ever. Anyways, on this car, it's not. So I don't know, that's, that's pretty crazy to be honest. And my car doesn't have that either. Um, I think I'm also going to try to take these speakers out and put them in my truck. I'm not sure how he has them mounted. I'm not sure if he has them uh, hooked up to an amp or not. Uh, there is an amp under this seat that I found. Um, so I'm not sure if he had it wired for a sub or just these. There's also a fuse in the, in the hood compartment area. So, uh, we'll see. So let's get this piece of crap out. Let's see if we can just pull on the freaking radio itself. This last tab in the corner here. There we go. Perfect. Alright, so... What the heck? It does have it hooked to an amp here. Go ahead and unplug that. And unplug this harness. Looks like he's got the connections like on these core nuts. I don't know what you call them. Uh, wire nuts or something. So it should be pretty easy to untwist them and move them over. I wonder if this had factory speakers in it. Because it seems like, I think those might be factory wires. Those are pretty clean actually. Mine are pretty destroyed in my car. So I wonder, because there's speakers in uh, the dash on either side. And mine were blown in my car. But maybe this car wasn't. And this car also did not come with speakers on the, the panels back here. Like my car had a like a um, that weird speaker on top, like right here. And this car does not. It's kind of cool. It's a clean uh, quarter panel panel. I might use those and fix the ones that I wrecked trying to put the six by nine in. Remote wire. That's like crimped in there. I might have to cut that. And then this is something. Is that a fuse? Nice, now we got the harness free. We can do some stuff. Remember how I set out this is gonna be the laziest install on the planet? Well, radio's going right here. Panel that goes right here is in my garage because I was trying to integrate a USB thing like this one that I've got in my car right here, and it turned out horrible because I tried to use Bondo on it, and that was stupid. Um, so it turned out horrible, and now I lost the panel in my garage. So radio is literally going to sit right here and bounce around because I do not care. Let's start this turd.
harness for the old radio that was in here. The uh, power and the constant are twisted together right there. That's cool. All right, I got power and ground hooked up, so let's see if this thing even has any power. Nope. All right, got a test light out, and uh, it's not getting power through these wires, so let's see if maybe there's a fuse blown. Yep, that was it. Blown fuse. I'm never gonna find it. All right, went to O'Reilly's, got some fuses. So let's see if we can get this thing to power up. All right, the radio did fire up, so we have power now. now I just need to figure out my speaker situation. Here's how the speaker box is mounted. It's awesome. These are power-based speakers, I guess. I don't no clue if they're good or not. They're 70 watts uh, RMS, so probably fine. Thinking for the speakers. Barely peeking out, but it'll probably be fine. All right, I've got some uh, electrical tape on the connections to make sure I don't blow a fuse again. We've got one of the speakers wired up over here, and we're gonna see right now if we've got any sound whatsoever. Nothing. Alright, let's try it again. You. Yeah. Sounds pretty good, actually. Kind of surprised. Sick. So I guess the S10 here was not made for a radio, because this thing that goes to the vents, I'm assuming, it gets right in the way. So the radio is going to stick out like forever. Like this whole half is going to stick out. All right, well, here's the finished uh, product, sort of. So that is not mounted at all. I have no idea how to do it because it's going to stick out so far. But zip ties or something. Speakers are in, though. Sounds decent. It looks like right here it's pushing on this, uh, the seat. Which I don't really care. So, now I think I'm gonna go for a test drive. Actually, now that I'm. Okay. Actually, now that I'm sitting in it, I can feel like the seat is noticeably closer to the steering wheel. And I'm sort of a tall dude. So, I don't know. I'll have to work something out. Do something else, maybe. I don't know. Went for like a 30 second test drive. This thing kept falling out and the seating position sucked, so I put the speaker on their sides, like how they're supposed to go. The reason I didn't do that at first is because I thought there would be less trouble and uh, mids coming through, because they're pretty much blocked, but it does. It seems to sound uh, all right, so. I just need to find some freaking zip ties in this mess. Now we have some, but. All right, so these are the only zip ties I could find. But, looks like it's probably gonna work. Probably gonna hold it in place a little bit at least. So, now let's go for a test drive, see if it's any better. Now that the seat's fixed and I have that sort of in place. All right, here's the final product with a nice little aux cord. Let's fire it up, see how it does. Incredible. Starts right up. Looks amazing, just, oh my goodness. Hey everyone, it's me again. I hope you enjoyed that hack job of a radio install. That was pretty good, pretty precise, pretty good if I said so myself. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, click like, comment, Where the, where's the camera at? Click like and comment, and don't forget to check out all my other videos and share them on Facebook, on YouTube, on Spotify, make sure to all right, see you guys next time.